Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about the Caterpillar C1500 and C1800 generator sets. The main wiring between the EMCP and engine control model. Okay. Before the starting the video, a small request to all newcomers, if you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to get more latest update videos. So let's get started. As you can see here, I draw the diagram before because don't waste the time. As you can see here, we have a battery, relay box, EMCP connection and engine control module connection okay this is the two connector interference from the controller EMCP to the engine control module okay which is the main pin for the ECM and which is the main pin for the EMCP to turning on the EMCP to turning on the engine control module unit okay this video is only for that so as you can see here we have a battery 24 volt dc okay two battery in a series okay here we have a relay box okay small box of the generate center set how the wiring is uh, connected between these both two connect okay we have two connectors. Okay. One is gen gen 70 pin connector and one is customer 70 pin connector. Okay. This one is male, one is female. Okay. These two connected are connected together. Okay. One is from the generator and one from the EMC. Understand? But we only know that which is the main pin for the ECM to turning on, which is the main pin for the EMCP to turn the car. Okay. As you can see here from the battery. Okay. Sorry. As you can see here in a fuse box CB2, CB3, CB1. What is meant by CB1? CB2, CB3. Circuit breaker number 2, circuit breaker number 3, circuit breaker number 1. Or fuse box, relay box have 3 tiny circuit breakers. Okay. Then as you can see the symbol of the circuit breakers. Okay take supply from the directly from the battery and put in a relay box to the each circuit breaker then out as you can see one is out to the starter motor and charging alternator ground side as you can see as you can see this is attached with the charging alternator ground side starter motor ground side and battery ground side understand Circuit breaker number three. This is the SR slave relay. This is out for the main ECM relay to turning on. Okay. Main ECM relay pin 87. Okay. Understand. Main ECM relay pin 87 as you can see here. Pin 87. Okay. Then main relay is connected as you can see the battery supply directly as you can see the battery positive supply directly from positive this three pin of the ACM pin ACM pin 48, 52, 53 this is the positive input supply for the ACM okay 
and pin 61, 63, 65. This is the negative input for the ACM to turn it on. Okay, this is the ACM supply. Understand negative supply from coming from the negative and positive coming from the positive side. But here we have one relay which is controlled by the relay box. Okay, and the relay box CB3 is out for the when ACM relay pin 87. Okay. And then provide it to ACM. Okay. Understand. Now, from the battery, two wire is going to Gen 70 pin connector and put in a pin 1 and pin 2. Understand. Okay. Then jump from the pin 1 and pin 2. This two wire is going directly to the EMCP 70 pin connector. Okay. EMCP controller input uh, pin 55 and pin 18. Okay. Understand. And also pin 52. Okay. This is the EMCP controller positive input. Understand EMCP 4.1, 4.2, or 4.3, 4.4, all are same. Why are the same? Okay. Now we need the negative supply for the disk controller. Okay. Negative supply. Okay. As you can see, check one negative. Negative is going to pin 65 of the EMC. Okay, input. Understand? This is the complete wiring of the EMCP and ECM wire. Okay? So I hope to watch this video and understand if you have further any question, any problem, please write comment below in the comment section. I will give you respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching my video. See you all next time. Goodbye.